every every human being has three lives. It's what we're taught. Ooh, that's three lives. There's a uh, public life, a secret life, and a uh, private life. Right. So the order is public life, private life, secret life. The public life is what we're all presenting to each other. It's what we want to appear as in public, right? You want to look cool and suave and handsome and you want to sound nice and you want to surround yourself with nice things because that's what you want the public to perceive about you. Mm. It may not be real, but it doesn't have to be real. If they perceive it to be true, then you have won because you have just perceived, you have just manipulated their perception. Mm. That's why broke ass high school and college kids will still wear nice name brand stuff so they don't, Pers they, they don't look like they're broke ass students, mm. right? I was one of those students, so I remember. Then you've got your private life. Now your private life is what your closest confidants know about you. So what your wife might know about you, what your close friends know about you, what your parents know about you. So publicly, nobody knows my feet smell bad. Privately, my wife knows my feet smell bad, right? But I'm never going to make that part of my public persona because it goes against what I'm trying to display as an mm. image. So here you've got these two lives. When you meet a stranger, they're presenting their public life. Always. Most of your connections, most of your friends, unless they are in the private life, they are all in the public life. Your coworkers, your customers, these are all people who you are dealing with, you're interacting with on a public life to public life level. We haven't even talked about the secret life, right? The secret life is the life that you don't share with anyone. It's that place where your darkest thoughts your biggest uh, vulnerabilities, it's where they live and convince you every day not to share them with your spouse, mm -hmm. not to share them with your parents, the things that make you feel horrible about yourself, the things that you, that you wonder if they're really true, but you're afraid to even ask the question because what would they think? They the public life, they the private life. What, how would people judge me? We all have a secret life too. For some people, secret life is big. Mm -hmm. For some people, secret life is quite small but you've got these three lives. So when I approach somebody in spy mode or in business mode or in social mode, I know I'm dealing with a public life first. So are you trying to peel beneath that? Sometimes. Like in spy mode. In, like, sp in spy mode, I'm sorry. No, 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 please. In, this, this is so interesting to the average person. <laughs> you have no idea. Like this is like movie shit. In, so. in spy mode, you have two objectives. Objective number one is to get into someone's private life as quickly as possible. Because if you're not, unless you're in someone's private life, you'll never get into their secret life. Mm. Objective number two, once you're in private life, is to become one of the few people that will ever penetrate their secret life. And there's only one reason why you wanna penetrate someone's secret life. Because once you're there, you never leave. Once someone has trusted you with a secret life secret, they're their fealty to you, their loyalty to you is beyond question forever mm. because they believe that you have earned that right to their secret life. They believe that you two are inherently connected, star-crossed lovers, soul matches. They rationalize it however they need to rationalize it, but essentially all they did is they just, in a moment of vulnerability, they let you into one of their deepest, darkest secrets. So they have been leveraged like debt they have been leveraged now, so their deepest, darkest secret hinges on you keeping it a secret. And that is interpreted as loyalty. Mm. They interpret that as, this is the most trusted confidant, this is my most trusted lieutenant, this person gets me, this person understands me, I need to be, I need to have, I need to do life with this person. So when you're a spy and you get into someone's secret life, that means you get all the secrets. If they're a general in a nuclear program in a hostile country, you can just ask them a question. Hey, who, who are your missiles pointed at? What's the temperature that you guys use or how often do you enrich your uranium? What's your primary source of uranium? You can ask them anything because they don't even care about that. Mm -hmm. That's all stuff that they basically have in their private life. You're in their secret life, that stuff's yours. They'll just give it to you. The stuff they really care about is, I'm really not happy. I'm, I'm, I'm trapped in this marriage that was arranged by my parents. And what I really like is this kinky thing with this whatever that's going to get me, you know, killed in my own country. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you about it. If you like this short clip, make sure you click here to see the next clip or here to see the full podcast episode. Mm -hmm.